players across the league, inside and outside of the bubble, have been supporting the decision for teams to boycott games over the shooting of Jacob Blake. LeBron tweeted out, in all caps, bleep this man, we demand change. Sick of it. LeBron also reportedly voted to not continue the season and walked out of the meeting after it was only the Lakers and Clippers who supported that stance. So Shannon, what is your best guess on how LeBron wants this to play out right now? He wants to see the men that are more powerful than him use their platform, use their means to help a community in need. That's what he wants to see. And he says, if you're not, I'm willing to walk away from it to show you just how serious I am about this situation. Skip, what has happened is that LeBron and I think a lot of the guys in the bubbles and I think a lot of people outside the community are starting to see the progress slow that was generated from the George Floyd murder. And it's like that was not what and, and that was not what, what I expected. Hmm. And he says, I'm down in the bubble, and LeBron says, I can do too, because a lot of guys, you know, Kyrie was with the first one to say, man, forget this. Let's just keep the focus on this, mm -hmm. and then don't even worry about that bubble. But LeBron says, I can do two things. I can bring attention, and I can go play basketball. But in the process of him being in the bubble, he's seen the movement almost stall. And he's like, no, that's not, that's not, that's not why I came down here. Yes, I came to play, but I was hoping that the movement that had started after the brutal murder of George Floyd would continue. And it's not. Mm. And I think the people that can help, because remember, Skip, remember now, a lot of the things that were going on in the 60s, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund was a lot of white Jewish lawyers. It was a lot of mm. whites that got on board really what start, jumped, started the skip, when they killed those two Catholic priests down in the South, I think it was Mississippi, mm -hmm. that changed the dynamic. Yep. LeBron says, you guys worth billions. You got contacts that they're a fan of mine, but they don't want to hear what I got to say. Because sometimes, Skip, you'll be willing to listen to someone that looks like you, that sounds like you, that talks like you, that travel in the circle of you, mm. as opposed to me. Maybe they can say it, phrase it, make it digestible that you like it. Mm. And I haven't seen enough of that. You've got all these T-shirts, Black Lives Matter, on the court, issue statements. But have you called your local legislators? Mm. Have you called your state legislators? Have you called your attorney general? Yep. Have you called your DAs? Have you talked to the mayors? What have you done? Mm. Police chiefs, what have you done? So I need to see more. And if I don't see more, I'm going to take my ball and go home. Mm. So you think this is a genuine threat? One. That, that, that it is highly possible LeBron, Clippers, Bucks will take their balls and go home? One thousand percent. Would you, it seems like the more you talk, the more you're leaning toward that's going to happen. Is that your gut? Unless they get the assurances. that these owners are going to become an active participant. Mm -hmm. Because Skip, it's easy to skip, you list, it, you know, you can, oh yeah, that's, that's, you know, you go to the, but are you invested? How invested are you? Because in any team, Skip, you, in order for any team to be successful, you need the top to be as equally invested as the, the janitors. So the owner needs to be as invested as their janitors. Mm -hmm. Well, LeBron James says in order for this thing to work, we need the most prominent people in America to be invested in our community as we are. Mm. And if you're unwilling to do that, we're going to see, you know, what will you do? What will make you, as my grandma say, we, you know, Duncan was stubborn, you know, you can't get him to gee a ha. Mm -hmm. Well, what's going to get you to move? Mm. What can make you move, Skip? What, what's the carrot and what's the stick? Because we try, we, we, skip, we get carried, we come down here, we play in the bubble, we quarantine, we're away from our family for a month. So now we got to try to stick. Hmm. So for me, again, my two cents from a distance, I found this to be a stunning change last night in LeBron's approach to all of the yes. above. Because leading up to the bubble, 
it felt to me like LeBron went radio silent. I didn't hear anything. You, you said he said you, you can do two things, but I didn't see anything from him. Mm -hmm. I think you assumed he could do two things because he obviously could do two things. Mm -hmm. He could use the bubble stage since we'd been deprived mm -hmm. of that game for so what right. have been five months. Right. To to continue to mount a protest to continue to enlighten, to campaign for all of the above right. from the bubble because everybody's going to be paying attention to the new stage that is the bubble. Correct. So I didn't hear anything from him, and they had that Friday night call that was on June 12th. Remember, right. it was the Kyrie call. Mm -hmm. LeBron reportedly did not participate, but 80 players did, and the point of the call was play or not play, right. bubble or not right. bubble. Kyrie led the charge, no bubble. And reportedly, he was saying, I don't support going into Orlando. I'm not with systemic racism and all the BS. Something right. smells a little fishy. Right. That's Kyrie. And, and yesterday, he was trending on Twitter. I know you saw it. Mm -hmm. Because people were saying, aha, he was right from the start. Because now everybody has come to the same conclusion. It is smelling a right. little bit. Mm -hmm. It smells fishy here. So Kyrie got his props yesterday for taking an early stand. It was a little easier for him to take that stand because he had already ruled himself out. Right, he was injured. He couldn't he go injured. to the bubble. And they wouldn't let him go. He said, I'll go with my team, but I can only watch my team. And they said, no, you can't go right. because we can only have X people in the bubble. Correct. Right? Okay, so it seemed a little easier for him to make that statement. But still, that was a call on Friday night, June 12th, and, and the season was teetering because it seemed like a whole lot of players were... 50-50, as you right. say, about should we even go to the bubble? Yeah, but I think the biggest thing was, Skip, the big names, the Giannis's, the LeBron's, yep. the uh, 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 the ADs, the Kawhi's, the James Harden, okay. Russell, they was like, okay, okay, let's go. All right, and on June 14th, Patrick Beverly tweeted, you remember this one? Yeah. This was a classic to me because it said so much in a few words. Hoopers say what y'all want, meaning NBA players. If at King James said, he hooping, we all hooping. Mm -hmm. So Patrick was just saying, he runs this league. He's the face of this mm -hmm. league. He is the most powerful voice in this league. And if he says, we're going, we are going to play basketball right. in Orlando. And Patrick concluded in the tweet, not personal, only all caps, business. And then he had a hashtag, stay woke. Great. Mm -hmm. So he's basically saying, the king is saying, we're playing basketball. Right. And obviously, on purely a basketball level, the Kings got a good team this year. Mm -hmm. And the Kings team was really hot right before the pandemic hit, Correct. as you know. Mm -hmm. And the King obviously has a real shot, of a legit shot, maybe even an odds-on favorite shot, to win his fourth championship mm -hmm. this year in a sort of a sprint to the finish right. line in Orlando. Yeah. So the king has invested a whole lot of days down in that bubble. And I know it's not exactly going to prison, but they don't love it because they've been away from their kinfolk, their family, right. their friends. And it, it just gets to be cabin fever down in the bubble. So LeBron's invested all those cabin fever days mm -hmm. where you've been stuck in your hotel room or playing video games just around the guys, the fellas. And all of a sudden, that happened in Kenosha, and LeBron flipped and went completely the other way. So he's invested all of this. They're playing, they're coming off their, what, most their best game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was their most impressive game in the bubble, right? Yep. You've had some trepidation about can't make shots, right. three-point shots. Mm -hmm. They were they, they made were, shots. They made a whole <laughs> bunch of shots. And, and he made well. shots. Yeah. He played his best game. And so it shocked me that all of a sudden, off last night. He went completely the other way and appears, as you point out very strongly, he appears willing to risk all the investment in the bubble, mm -hmm. a team that is poised to maybe win his fourth championship. And remember, obviously, I'm not saying his clock is ticking right. at this point. I'm not even saying the window is closing, but it's 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 starting to come down. To t well, you got to face reality. It's 17 yeah, years in the league. Of course. Okay, of course. so he has to be thinking in the back of his mind, Man, I got a shot here because you talk about his legacy. He's got an off-the-court legacy, and he's got an on-the-court legacy, and it would certainly help to win a fourth championship, yes. right? Yes. So he is apparently willing last night to risk this because it was a fiery, emotional, maybe even an angry 8 p.m. Eastern meeting mm -hmm. in the bubble. All the players who wanted to attend, all the coaches who attended, 
even Jacob Blake family members virtually attending. It was quite a meeting, and I wish we could have been flies on that wall right. to hear what exactly was said. But in the end, he led the charge out the door of Lakers and Clippers, and the Bucks were already, so to speak, out the door. So the top three teams mm -hmm. are threatening to call it off. Right. Well, what's Adam Silver going to do now? We'll still try to play? Does no. that make no, the, the Heat the favorite? You know, no. like all of a sudden? Skip, you know, the, the thing that, that made Muhammad Ali so beloved is that he was willing to give up something yep. that had fought his entire life to achieve. Right in the prime of his career, he says, this isn't right, I'll go shut it down. He sure did. I don't think he still gets enough credit. It was three years in his, the heart of his prime. <laughs> in the heart. Yeah. I mean, LeBron is 17 right. years in. This, this is, what was he, like 27-ish? Yes. Yeah. But the thing was, but the thing is, Skip, is that he's like, as you mentioned, all these things, he's in prime position. He's in the best, he's in a, the best position he's been in in a long time yep. to compete, seriously compete for a title. Yep. And he said, I get that up. Because what's going on in my communities and what these minorities are going through and the systemic racism and the injustice and the economic inequality that I see is not worth this. Okay, here we go. Because I'm back to the Pat Bev tweet. You, you could reverse it and say, <laughs> if you say what y'all want, <laughs> but if King James said we ain't open, you ain't open. If King James yeah. out, we all I, out. I got it. That's the bottom line to this. Yep. Well, guys, maybe Chris Haynes will have an update uh, on will. the latest. He will join us after the break. Chris Haynes inside the bubble with the latest on Undisputed. Stay with us.